Two DPS troopers are hurt following a major crash and pursuit in West Harris County. Now, there are several scenes involved in this incident. Investigators say it initially started as a pursuit Halloween night. Brittany Jeffers is live in the Med Center to tell us what happened out there. Brittany? Yeah, there's certainly a lot to sort through here because we are talking about two separate but related scenes. So in the first, we know that there were several DPS vehicles that were damaged during this pursuit. There was also a trooper who suffered a minor injury to his foot after they say the suspect ran over his foot. In this second scene, however, there was another trooper involved in a major crash because they were attempting to respond to that pursuit. So a lot to get to here. According to DPS, they tell us that this pursuit started around 930 last night. This was at 99 and Peak Road. They say the suspect was a woman who fled to a home in Katy. Troopers say she attempted to back into a trooper's vehicle. They say she ran over another trooper's foot and was ultimately stopped by two pit maneuvers. This was at Merchants Way near Mason Road. Uh, the vehicle had four children along with an adult passenger inside. Uh, the driver's facing multiple felony charges. Another trooper was responding to this scene a short distance away at Mason, at the intersection of Mason and Merchant, uh, when he uh, entered the intersection and ran under a truck tractor semi trailer commercial motor vehicle. He was transported to the hospital. I'm not sure what his condition is at this time. Now, I want you to take a look. This is video that was shared by the owner of a wrecker and towing company, Frankie Elion. He says that he witnessed the crash at the intersection of Mason and Merchant. I just see a flash of red and blue lights, and I, I see this Tahoe go under uh, the 18 wheeler. And, and then what? My, I, I was just in shock initially. Uh, in the video, you can hear me, you know, screaming at one of my drivers uh, because he's the only person I know that's, you know, a paramedic and firefighter that could help. Now, this is a photo of uh, the vehicle involved. This photo was posted to X by the Texas DPS Southeast Texas region, adding that the trooper was then transported to a local hospital for treatment. So we are still working to try to find out their conditions this morning. But coming up at 630, you're going to hear more from witnesses who were at that scene last night. Reporting live in the Med Center, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.